It's a phrase we hear time and time again, more pain at the pump. But it doesn't always have to be that way. In fact, there doesn't have to be a pump at all. They're called ZAP cars, electric vehicles that make going green easier and more affordable than ever. These are fully electric cars. You just plug them in, charge them up. They use 90% less energy than a normal gasoline car. And with today's gas prices, you can save a lot of money. Um, like it's a sentiment people are picking up on in the midst of record high gas prices as they scramble to dig deeper into their pockets and some even deeper into debt. I just try to spend as less money as possible on every other thing, you know. It's so expensive I can't afford anything else. I think that our country really needs to work on alternative sources of energy and cars are a big one. We spend more on gas than anything. It affects me in a lot of ways because people like us can't really afford gas at all, and it's hard. But with these little guys, there's no gas, no oil changes, no tune-ups, and only three tires to keep up. They get 25 miles per charge, and the batteries are recyclable, so they're better for the environment. And with gas prices surging almost daily, Bay Area residents have shown a newly founded interest in the little cars that can. Being green is one way, one reason why people are using electric cars, but with gas prices going up higher and higher, um, it, it makes a lot of financial sense today. Um, you know, I'm already saving probably hundreds of dollars a year in gasoline just commuting 10 miles back and forth to work. And if you think owning one of these puppies will cost you, well, think again. You can get this zebra for only about $11,000. It can go 40 miles an hour, so it makes a perfect in-town commuting car. And you can charge it overnight, just like you charge your cell phone. Just plug it into a wall outlet and let your wallet worries hit the sack. So if you're tired of dishing out the dough, a Zap car may be the way to go. I'm Nazi Javid for the Bay Area's TV50 News.